hey guys, it's Ruffian, and today I'm going to have a mini haul video because I went um, to one of the tack shops by my house and I went and I got a few plastic ponies that I'd like to share with you guys. So this is going to be kind of a short video and I apologize for that or maybe you like my shorter videos. I don't know. Regardless, let's just get right into it. Okay, so first of all we have Aurelius, which was the 2014 brick and mortar special run I believe who's on I don't know what mold it is but um he's a glossy chestnut and he was for a really good price I think he was like 36 or something he was under $40 because he was on sale and while I'm not actually a big fan of this I am a sucker for glossies and I figured you know if he doesn't grow on me and whatever I'll just resell him the second one that I got was the long mane and tail variation of the Connemara pony um I think he came out this year. I know there was a little bit of controversy surrounding him because in the catalogs he had the loose mane and tail but then they started selling him with like the braided mane and tail and later they came out with the long mane and tail variation and I already have the braided one and I saw this one and um, he's the variation that I've wanted for a while because there aren't very many horses on the Newsworthy mold with the long mane and tail variation so um, this one was also on sale. I think I got him for about $30 as well. So it was a really good price for him and I'm so happy I finally have my hands on one. The last one that I got was Toro, which is another brick and mortar special run um, that's new for this year. Um, and that was actually the main reason why we went out to the tack shops over the weekend. It was to find this horse. And um, it was kind of funny because they didn't have him on the shelves yet, but um, uh, we went and we asked like the store people if they had him. They had just finished labeling the horses with the prices and whatever and so they brought him out and I think they had like eight of them so we got to compare them against like all of them we got to choose the best one and um, I'm really pleased with the one that we got. It still has a few flaws. I'm not too terribly worried about it because he's just he's so pretty and I already have two others on the Nakoda mold and I hope to start conga eating this mold. Now, while I did not get this horse from any of the tack shops, um, I got him in the mail, like, just um, a few days before we went to the tack shop, so I thought I might as well include him in the video. But this is Patriot. He is on the ASB mold. He is a transparent red, white, and blue um, horse. Um, it's probably really hard to see on camera, but um, he does actually have stars in his paint. And he is transparent, which is really cool because I don't actually have any uh, traditional transparent horses. Um, and I believe he's also limited edition, but I'm not like 100% sure. But yeah, like, I like decorators and I thought this horse was kind of cool to have. Alright, so this was kind of like my um, May model horse haul, I guess. Um, I'm going to try to get all the horses in here, but it's kind of hard. Um, if you like this video, be sure to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already because I make videos every Wednesday and leave a comment down below on which one of these horses is your favorite and I will see all of you next week.